what's up everyone um, today it's what day is today it's Wednesday 4 p.m. here in the Philippines and today in this video we're going to implement um, authentication in our blazer app so in this video we're going to implement um, the ASP.NET authentication the identity framework um, built into ASP.NET Core so I hope that this is still working because I have some codes before so we're going to um, add this package in our in our um, uh, CS project CS proj so import group so I put it on a separate a separate import group because um, I might uh, we are not going to use um, identity framework on other projects and I used to just copy and paste this entire thing for my um, entity framework so we'll label this identity and we're going to um, see if this is still the current package that is being used for identity framework so that's um, yeah I think it didn't recognize it so okay so we're going to um, ESP uh, just maybe just search for identity here and me as live every morning identity um, Microsoft dot ESP net com SP net dot is there like an identity here okay so there you go and there uh -huh. how about this one yep um, how about this one so they're not using there's no five huh? extension identity core is the uh, identity is the membership system for uh, location including membership login so I think this is the one or this one what's the difference so I think this is the one that is the current one maybe because uh, this is in five and they seem to have similar explanation here and yeah and we have to remove this room here and put this baby boy here and uh, it still like that what is it complaining so we can check um, what is why is it in yellow all right um, rebuild this one so it has error so item group what package reference 
element item group ah item group not import group okay so what else is it complaining about package reference what package reference beneath element We can we can um, so I'm leaving it tonight okay so that seems to work and now um, instead of using the DB context we're going to use the identity DB context but first we're going to create a user okay so here we're going to create our app user so I'm leaving you tonight app user okay so we have our app user and Okay, so that app user is going to inherit from identity user. Okay. And yeah, I think we have to put the identity here as well. So this is going to be item group, item group package reference, just copy this thing, put it in there, okay, and then we're going to so we're going to identity for entity framework should we add this one the extension stores as well um, let's try so I'm leaving it tonight uh, it's not fun here anymore I've been joining the parade. Okay. Okay, that seems to work. And this one. Okay, we have that. And then we're going to add like a string first name and public string last name okay and then we're going to add virtual uh, navigation for um, claims so we'll have to define the claims here <clears throat> so app user claim so in an app user claim um, we're going to say 
identity identity user claim so this is going to be a string and then we're going to put a constructor there and um, yeah I think we can do this uh, we can do that for now and we're then going to um, continue with this one here we're going to up user claim here and what well, is claims like that okay and then we're going to apply this one here uh, we're going to use the identity identity DB context instead of the DB context so identity DB context um, why is it not working is it because we'll have to use this instead of is it obsolete oh it's working so we can use that one I think alright that's cool it's working and then we're going to um, what is this? Somebody, somebody in my previous company, I saw that they're copying this thing that I work on this one, and they just copy this. I think they have access to my computer. Yep, and then we're going to say like that. Then user claim here, identity user rule is here, and then put string. And then identity user login is a string. Then identity rule rule claim is a string. Identity user token also string like that okay and then we're going to add override um, on model creating we'll update the builder um, we're going to um, configure our user to um, as many as many okay claims claims with one then has foreign key foreign key user ID then is required okay so I believe that would be the 
set up for identity framework and we'll try to add migration add identity framework here and stop it stop 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 okay stop because we want to execute that in EF and do this again so we have our ASP.NET rules now being set up and update database and voila so we now have oh, this is a storage um, we will now have ASP.NET users here yeah, that um, doesn't look good. It's ugly. That's why I prefer to use um, design my own users instead of um, relying on the default, um, the built-in ASP.NET framework. But we'll do this right now. Okay, that's it. Um, thanks, and um, in the next video we're going to add authorization uh, authorization and authentication in our API and we're going to implement that also in our blazer so we can um, restrict pages and we can log in and sign um, sign in and create users yeah so if you like the video please subscribe and tell your family and friends to subscribe as well and don't forget to um, click the bell button I think yep okay that's it bye